Hello, this is Ray Phoenix here. This is Frogger for the Atari 2600. This is the best version of Frogger you could get in the day simply because it's on the Atari 2600. Therefore, it had much better controls than its Atari 5200 counterpart because, you know, the Atari 5200 had really bad controls. This is the Atari 2600 version, which can be played with the standard Atari 2600 joystick. Or if you have a Sega Genesis controller, you can plug that into your Atari 2600 and play, and play it with that instead. Or you could just get a Sega Genesis, which is a lot better than Atari 2600, and buy Frogger on the Sega Genesis and play it on your Sega Genesis. It's just like the real little game, but it's on the Sega Genesis, and it's better than the Atari 2600 version. But I digress. This is Frogger in the Atari 2600, a very good version of Frogger. This is the version that most people know. Most people play Frogger, grew up playing Frogger, know this version the most. It probably, it probably was the best-selling version at the time, considering the fact it was on the Atari 2600, which was the best-selling system at the time. And it was published by Parker Brothers, which they published a lot of the greatest games on the Atari 2600. And this version is not, is, is not subject to any glitching or any emulation flaws and things like that. Like the version of Frogger that appeared on the Konami Classics Advance, Collection Advance for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know how they messed that version up. How do you mess up Frogger? I don't know. But then again, that Frogger kind of messed himself up. The fact that he's a frog, he's a wuss frog, he can't swim in the water, if he falls in the water, he drowns. He's a frog for crying out loud. He's supposed to swim. Or maybe because it's located right next to the road, maybe the water is toxic or poisonous. Because you know that's how the water is. I mean, it's, you know, it's located next to a road in Boston. I guess it's a, this game is set in Boston because the way the traffic is moving on the street. I've never seen cars like move like that in real life before. So it must be somewhere in Boston. Or maybe it's that intersection close by, right close to where I live. People get hit there all the time. You have to play Frogger to get through those lines of cars. But you don't have to jump on logs or turtles or, or gators or, or anything like that. In the later levels of the game, the gators actually try to eat you. But not at this point in the game. This game's this version's actually a lot more challenging than the Sega Genesis version, which I made a video of the Sega Genesis version about a, more than a year ago. It was actually one of my most viewed videos. It got 40 views. Up to this day right now, it has 40 views, making it one of my most viewed videos on YouTube, which I guess is pretty good. I, I, I guess you could call it one of my best videos. I mean, it is one of the best games on the Genesis. It was weird that they released a new Sega Genesis game like that in 1998. But this game came out at a more appropriate time in like 1981 or 1982, back when Atari 2600 was in its prime, the prime of the 2600, and right before they started releasing complicated games that really, you know, made the system look bad. Because it's Atari 2600, it's not made to play complicated games, it's made to play simple stuff, and Frogger's a simple enough game. We just simply hop to the end and get points and dodge cars and trucks, dodge the cars from Moon Patrol, and those trucks that probably are going to somewhere, I don't know where they'd be going. And then, and then there's the thing from Moon Patrol, and there's those bulldozers from some other game. And when Frogger gets hit by one of the cars or trucks, he turns into the nuclear warhead from Missile Command. Not in this version, no, but in the, the Sega Genesis version, he turns into the nuclear warhead from Missile Command. I still haven't played Missile Command yet. Yeah, I just realized now. I haven't played any videos from Missile Command. This is, uh, this is the second video I made of a Frogger game, too. This is the first time I made a video of a Frogger game that had commentary, so... Yeah, I guess that's, you know. This is pretty much where the game ends. Where you get to a point where it's damn near impossible to get Frogger to, you know, the end goal where you're supposed to get him. It's pretty much impossible at this point. So why even try? I don't know. I don't know why I even bother in trying at all. I don't even know why I even bother to put this on YouTube. No one's going to watch this, so I even bother. I still try. And there's a snakes that come around to you and eat you. Yeah, some sort of snakes eat frogs. Do snakes eat frogs? I don't know. It's Ray Phoenix signing out.